Summer Palace, one of the emperor's favorite gardens in China's Qing Dynasty, even now stands as a masterpiece of garden design. Its breathtaking landscape mirrors nature. Its history of transformation showcases nothing shortage of our ancestors' respect to nature when exploring the natural world. Today, the garden is a marriage between Quinmin Lake and Longevity Hill, whereas the area it sits on used to be the largest wetland in the northwest suburb of Beijing in Yuan Dynasty. Abundant water from the mountains nearby kept flowing into the West Lake, predecessor of Quinmin Lake, making it a major water source for the royals and also city waterway transportation. But the lake area started to shrink over the following 700 years. Lack of rainwater and Beijing's dry climate made it even worse. Subsequently, threatening the whole city's water supply. Realizing its importance to the city development, in December 1749, Emperor Qianlong ordered a makeover of the area. More water was diverted into the enlarged lake from springs close by. Lake water became cleaner after accumulated mud was cleared out. Riverways and dams were built to channel the flood. The soil dug out to extend the lake, were used to reshape a neighboring hill. By reinforcing its water holding capacity, more wild animals were attracted to settle in, and the green coverage increased. With mountains and water. The place became a top-notch location with balanced yin and yang. In 1751, another 15-year upgrade began to turn the wetlands into an imperial garden. Besides the added artificial elements, more native plants were used to evoke the landscape. As the designers believe that a plant's unique beauty. Only comes fully alive in the context of its habitat. Hence, trees from the hill were growing the hill, plants from water in the water. More pine trees, cypresses, have been planted on the longevity hill to recover its natural plant formation. Given this tree's long standing in color, the hill will appear in vibrant green all year round, even if all other plants fade in Beijing's harsh and cold winter. The area of lotus, water lily, and other water plants has been extended to fully display the diverse beauty of this wetland. To ensure the continuous blooming in a garden, plants that flower in different seasons, such as peach trees, cherry apple trees, plum trees, are scattered within the garden. By enhancing the functions of its biodiversity, the wetland glows with the help of exquisite artificial design that is in line with its own ecological structure. From that point on, together with the old summer palace, Changchun Garden in Wanshou Mountain, Jingming Garden in Yuquan Mountain, and Jingyi Garden in Xiang Mountain, the Imperial Garden region stretched about 20 kilometers in Qing Dynasty, reached unprecedented prosperity.